afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meet Z69. Welcome back to the channel. I am so happy, but yet I am so sad because the AMX CDA 105 has arrived in the game. Yes, it has arrived for the game, and this tank is absolutely amazing. It really is. It's going to be so underrated. If you play it wrong, you might think it is a crap tank, but overall, this tank is one of the best tier eight uh, tank destroyers in the game. Trust me, if you play it correctly, wow what a tank this is so it's a french tank destroyer in tier 8 it has a tier 10 gun um so let's just have a look at the stats here so hit points is 1150 now the armor is only 90 millimeters but it is very very troll uh, i don't know why it's very troll maybe because of the angles uh it's sloped but yeah even though it's 90 millimeters it is very, very troll, and you can get the odd bounce, but that's not where this tank shines. It's not at all. Um, damage per minute, 2,625. So, in fact, that's not actually the best of DPMs. Uh, you're looking at around 2,800 to 3,000 for tank destroyers in, in tier 8. So, 2,600 is a little bit on the low side. However, it actually feels much higher than that. The reload is only 8 seconds and it has a 260 APCR pen and 310 heat pen so it's got pen it has pen it's got great penetration the alpha is where this shines as well 350 alpha on your APCR 300 on your heat and 440 on your HE now because it's got heat if you really wanted to you could run it with calibrated shells which makes the HE uh, the heat pen go to 300 141 but honestly it doesn't need that just run it with the gam uh, gun rammer uh, that is all it needs trust me um so yeah the where are we so the aim time 2.9 actually very good dispersion 0 0.308 very good has eight degrees of gun depression and the speed is 50 kilometers per hour now on paper this doesn't look like the best of tanks it really doesn't but when you're playing it oh i love this tank but i'm i'm sad because of course it is back in crates yes this time it should be back in the key crates where you have to buy the keys instead of the crates uh, the crates are usually randomly dropped when you're playing a battle uh, but you can't open them crates because you have to buy the keys. These are my worst crates. I hate them. I really do despise these crates. Because as people know, crates are around. They're around and they're going to be around for a long time. And a lot of people want crates, but they don't want to buy them. And they don't want to uh, spend money on something that they may not get from the crates. Uh, so Wargaming, they, their marketing, whoever made this up, is, is a legend. Because it, this time, they give people free crates. They're like, here, have a free crate. But you can't open them because you need a key. I hate it. I really do hate it. And if there is, if I could get rid of one thing in the game and it can't just be crates, it would be the keys. Uh, but just if you're going to bring it in crates, bring it in crates. Don't give away the crates and then tell people, yeah, you can't open them because you need to now buy a key. Uh, I just think it's wrong, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, it is in crates. It is in the keys. So I'm sadly not going to be uh, participating in trying to get this tank. But as soon as this tank comes for gold, I 100% will be buying this tank because I love it. I absolutely love it. And to the point that this is probably now one of my favorite uh, tank destroyers in tier eight. I tested it. It's not just because I've played it a few times. I actually tested the tank as well and I loved it during test. And I just thought it was so underrated. I didn't think it was going to be as good as the tank actually is. So because it's got, it's got not uh, it hasn't got much armor you do have to be wary about how you play the tank um you can play it like a td like i'm playing here now this ain't a bad um sort of positioning uh, or, or it's not a bad way to play the tank using it as that td and then maybe later on in the battle use the mobility use the dpm use your your hit points well you haven't really got hit points um use your dpm use your alpha 
to get up close and deal damage to the enemy team because you really can deal damage and like i said when i looked at the dpm and it was only 2600 i was very very surprised um but i think you could up that a little bit i would say around 2800 for the dpm because obviously the dpm goes by the low the lowest sort of the average roll where this tank you are doing 340 plus maybe 360 per damage i mean we're going to get a shot here 430 438 into the ISU-152. So even though it does say uh, 2,600, I, I would lean more towards the 2,800 mark for the DPM. Of course, you've got the use of the adrenaline as well, which makes uh, the DPM much quicker. And I think three uh, eight seconds for a sort of 340 to 360 380 alpha i think that's amazing that really is good uh we totally missed that guy there but we do manage to get the kill so we do farm up there 2600 damage which was very very easy to farm up that and we do earn 67,000 credits as well so uh moving on to one more game we've got one more game on winter malinovka and this just goes to show how good of a tank this can perform now, how would I play the tank? Personally, I'm not a lover of those of, of sitting at the back. There are certain types of tanks that you do need to sit at the back and farm. Yes, I've done it on that map because it was it was Castilla. You know, that's a perfect opportunity for me to farm up some damage sitting on that hill. But a map like this, I would always go and support my mediums because you go 50 kilometers per hour. You go faster than most medium tanks in tier eight. So we are just gonna wait. I know the enemy has three mediums and a light tank. I mean, look at that there. Again, first shot, 367. And this is what I mean. You're, you're, you're very rarely doing the low roll in this, 382. You know what I mean? It, it's, you're always getting, not always, but most of your shots, you are gonna get the higher side of the 300 rather than the lower side. So I think, 2,800 is respectable uh, DPM. You could even say it could even be a, to, to sort of 2,900 um, to 3,000 DPM because just the high rolls that you get. I mean, yes, that shot there, we only done 328, but that was like the first shot out of three that we uh, we didn't even low roll. We were still above the, the average uh, the average per shot. So we're gonna just take out this guy here, that the, uh, the T45 85, which is in store now for very, very cheap. So if you are looking to get a decent cheap tank, then, then that is actually a good bundle. So we do take a shot from the Emil here, but we're just gonna back up. Again, we're gonna use that gun depression and we're going to click uh, we're going to clear the pantera there and then we're just going to yolo in i mean at the minute it's a seven versus four i've got all my team with me so i just want to yolo in here's the t49 of course i want to take him out and as i said the aim time is very good on the tank we do take another shot from the emil here but we're just going to back up and we are going to get a shot into him again 438 roll into him 438 yes it was a max roll but we'll take it and we're good i don't know what the chimera was doing uh, but surely we didn't manage to shoot that guy reload and then shoot him before the chimera reloads i'm i'm not too sure um so 2700 damage at the moment we're on five kills and it is just this t29 left now uh that was uh that was uh that was hopeful shot for me i could have actually just paid attention and shot uh, i would have actually done a little bit more damage so we're going to get one more shot into him and again 359 so just over 3k damage unfortunately we don't manage to get our sixth kill but hopefully these two games these two back, uh, battles especially the last battle there just goes to show how good of a tank this is and basically it is kind of like a tier 8 fosh it's kind of like a tier 8 fosh where it's got the speed it's got the gun it's got the alpha and you can literally just yolo in with your medium tanks and destroy them with your massive alpha so yeah it's i'm sad because it's a fantastic tank and i absolutely love it um and it's in crates so yeah it is unfortunate but you know it will come around and i'm sure the next time it will come it will be for gold so that is when i will be buying this tank but for now i would recommend stay away because it's crates and it's keys don't buy them guys don't don't uh just just don't just don't do it hope you enjoyed the video guys i'm midzy 69 i'll catch you all soon bye bye With the, with the.